So how do you rank first on Google and ChatGPT in 2025? Now, if you haven't watched these two videos yet, please go watch them because I break down exactly how we are ranking or having our brand recommended or cited in these new AI LLM based search engines. That's ChatGPT, Perplexity, Grok, and a bunch of others. So go watch those ones for context. Now, the way you rank first on Google and are recommended in ChatGPT because in GPTs you're not, you're not really ranked, your, your brand is cited and recommended, is more or less the same way you are ranked on Google. Because these AI-based search engines, well, where do you think they get their info from? Well, Google and any other social media, right? They, they, they skim through your site, they skim through your socials, they scour through the internet, okay? So the way in which you rank on these right here is the same way you rank on Google, which is by doing SEO, of course, and an integral part of SEO, which has three pillars, as you know, I talk about this a lot here on the channel, which is the on-page SEO, off-page SEO, sorry for my, my writing, and technical SEO. For technical SEO, right, you have to nail all these three pillars down. Because if you just do technical SEO, well, it's not gonna be enough to rank first. If you just do on-page, it's gonna be enough. If you just do off-page, it's not gonna be enough. You gotta nail all these three. To successfully do SEO, i.e. rank first and make a lot of money, you gotta nail all these three. For technical SEO, well, you can just use this tool. It is not free, but just in full disclosure, this is my tool, so I'm 100% biased. But you can just use this, saves you a shit in a time. So you go here to set optimizers, just add your site. And what this AI does, is this is like an AI agent. It analyzes a bunch of pages on your site, right? It analyzes all the pages. And then it, for the technical optimizations of your site, page titles, meta descriptions, meta keywords, canonical URLs, image alt text, internal links, similar will do schema and site speed, site speed, excuse me. For all this boring stuff about technical SEO, well, it tells you, listen, for example, let's say for page titles. Page titles, this is your current page title. So for this page, for our page, slash ghost, this is our current page title. And it suggests the, our AI agent went through your site, evaluated your site, evaluated, evaluated the competition, excuse me, and then it says, hey, listen, we think you should change it to this. And then it tell, gives us the why. Hey, listen, this title is more concise and includes relevant, whatever, it gives you the why. So not just suggesting you something, it's suggesting you something based on real life um, proof, right? And then giving you the why. And then you can either discard or apply this. If you hit apply, it will just automatically change it on your site. And based on what you discard and apply, the AI will learn how it should go about doing feature recommendations for you, right? For example, I can guarantee you if you do this right now, you'll have a bunch of images without alt text because most of us do. And this is bad for technical SEO. So you need to have proper alt text on your images. Internal links, you most likely also have a bunch of of pages on your site right here. Is there, let's say there's a bunch of pages on your site. They are not properly interlinked, right? And you are missing out on a bunch of SEO juice for your technical SEO. So this AI tells you, listen, we think you should link this page to this one. And then it tells you the why, because these are related in some extent and you hit apply and it will automatically create an internal link with the anchor text it suggested here. Super straightforward. Okay, so this does, this does all this for you automatically. You can apply the optimizations or discard them. It does this all on autopilot. It's called an AI agent, okay? Now, back here to the, the whiteboard, uh, on-page SEO is basically everything that happens on the site. So the keywords you target, the content you write, how you write the content based on the competition, all that, which this, by the way, also does content writing super quick. I'm gonna show you just a, a little snippet of uh, the type of articles this writes. So I'm just go here to, uh, let's just do this. Um, this is all done with AI. The images, the table of contents, proper content extraction with internal links, external links, in-article images. This is done with AI, by the way, with text, and even adds in-article relevant videos to the article, right? So all this done with AI. It's pretty cool, okay? Um, so, once you, so once you have these nailed down, well, you're missing one, which is key to ranking both on this and here. Because again, now you know that for, to rank on GPT, right, than any other LLM-based search engine, you have to rank on Google first, okay? Because all these things do is they take your prompt, paste it on Google or Bing or any other social, more or less like this, and then taking info from the first people on there. That's basically what they do, okay? So the third thing that will allow you to rank on Google and by default allow you to rank on GPT and all these other search engines is off-page SEO, which is the one thing that people know a lot about, but they don't do which is backlinks. Everyone knows they need backlinks. Like I showed people all these results. I mean, we have infinite results. And I'll show you in a second here, but people just don't do it, right? For example, this guy right here, uh, they were just getting started with our site, right? We just built three links to them, right, in January, and just saw an uptick in, uh, in traffic. So from around 500 to around 800, 
right? Now, of course, they are doing proper technical SEO, they are doing proper on-page, they are creating new content, but links are a crucial part of it. Why? Because a link, right? A link is simply a mention. Let's say this is your website right here. A link essentially is a mention, for example, Wikipedia links to you. Facebook links to you. Um, Wall Street Journal writes this amazing blog post and links to you, right? These are all links. This is, this is what a backlink is essentially. And the more trust Google has on the sources linking to you, right? The more, the more relevancy these, these sources have, the more Google will trust and add relevancy to your domain. That's basically, it. that's why when you're building links, right? You want a powerful link. So coming from a powerful domain that Google's trust because there's power, because when the domain is powerful, it has high trust in Google's eyes and relevant as well, but we'll cover that in a bit right here. And these, I mean, they just work. For example, this guy right here, we built three links starting in November, November, November 30, excuse me, and it boom, just went up, right? It, it just goes up. The keyword rankings and the organic traffic. Now, it, it looks like magic. It isn't, right? These are actual real brands that do proper th uh, on-page SEO and technical SEO, excuse me, but it just works. For example, this jewelry company, uh, nine links. Traffic went from around 1,000 to 10,000 in just a few weeks, right? I mean, you, you can pause the video if you like, but there's endless, endless, endless results. This one's one of our most recent ones. We built 29 links and the traffic went from around 400 to 1600. Now, these are the links, by the way, these are the anchor text. It was the, you, you, you can guess the link based off of the anchor text. Now, of course, granted, they also built pages. So organic pages with content were built. They used AI content, by the way. They used the software that I just showed you before. So again, all this works in tandem. Now, how do you build the perfect backlink for SEO? Well, just as, they, as just as I said to you before, right? You're looking for metrics, traffic, and relevancy. Metrics, well, just go for UR and DR. These are the metrics according to Ahrefs, which is the tool I use. Now, granted, don't rely blindly on the metrics from these tools because they can easily be manipulated. So DR, UR, DR is the main rating, UR is a URL rating, okay? But it's, it's, it's a good rule of thumb. Okay, if you are in the RRI, well, most likely the domain is trustworthy, it's high value, okay? Now, look at traffic as well, because you can have a domain with high metrics, but then the traffic is super low, or maybe the traffic is high, but it comes from like these third world countries, and when you look at it, it all comes from the same IPs, and it's, it's shady stuff. So make sure that if there's actual traffic, look at the country distribution of the traffic. Look at the keywords the actual site ranks for. Are, is the site actually ranking or is all the traffic coming from this shady, other shady website? So do some sort of analysis and you can watch this video right here, which I break down basically how I build. Now I find the exact backlinks that do this, 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 that do basically the exact links that I built to these guys right here are explained in this video right here. I go over how I find them and how, how I build them. Okay, so none, none of this is secret by the way. I, I share everything here on YouTube. And then of course relevancy, right? You, wanna, you want to have a link from a site that's relevant, right? If, you're, if you sell dog toys, right? You want a bunch of links from dog blogs and um, dog care sites, dog, dog washes, I don't know. You don't, you don't necessarily want a link from a, a, um, a motorcycle stand or a, a car wash, right? You want relevant links. Even though this could be powerful, eh, you still prefer, still prefer you go for a relevant plus powerful over a, a non even relevant and less powerful or more or less powerful, if that makes sense. And so I know I ran through this a bit fast, but in essence, right, and I've shared a bunch of stuff here on this channel, to rank first on Google or any other search engine, right, Google, YouTube, GPT, Perplexity, Grok, right, they all follow the same pattern, right? They, based on the user's search, right, based on the intent of that search, they all want to provide the best result. The best result is the result that satisfies the user's search intent, okay? Whether that's a TikTok, a video on TikTok, whether that's a video on YouTube, whether that's a blog post on Google, doesn't matter, right? They all wanna satisfy the user search intent the best they can because they wanna provide the best experience to the user because in the end of the day, these search engines are going to be monetizing the user. And the best way to monetize the user is to provide them with the best user experience, okay? Nowadays, Google monetizes users with ads. Who knows how ChatGPT will monetize users eventually? Most likely with ads in some way, we don't know just yet, okay? Um, surely it'll be with some citations or just uh, like banner ads, who knows? And so point here is that the way you rank on here is having a proper on-page, building out content, right? Figuring out what content your users are looking for in your niche, right? Figuring out what problem your service or product solves and creating content based on that, right? Because when someone searches on GPT or Google for how do I um, tie a tie? I don't know, if you have an in-depth blog post or a video or a whatever, content about that uh, question on your page, right? Well if it's relevant enough, 
if it satisfies the search intent, so if the answers on the content set, um, answer the questions that people have on the searches, if it has a bunch of backlinks from trustworthy sources, right? If your technical SEO is, is, is good, 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 on, good uh, meta titles, good meta descriptions, good schema, right? If you have a great understanding of SEO and how to do SEO, well, you'll be recommended and you'll rank as well. Now, if you don't learn SEO, I'll leave a bunch of resources down below, or you can join my academy. You can go to tryjournalist.com for slash academy. You get a full year's access to Journalist AI, this software that allows you to do a bunch of stuff, writing content. You can even syndicate it to social media automatically. You can even use the most powerful tool we have, which is the editor. Let's say, for example, you don't want to write AI content, right? For some reason, I don't know why, but let's say you don't, don't want to write AI content. Well, you can just upload your own content to our tool and edit your own content with AI. So for example, let's say this is your content right here. Let's say you delete all this and you paste in your own content, right? You can say, mm, okay, I want to add a couple links here, so just do add links. And the AI will read through the content and add links to the most relevant parts in this paragraph, right? Keeping into account the context of the article as a whole. Boom, there you go. Yeah, you can do all this manually, but why would you? You could just use AI to do it for you. But let's say, for example, you don't like this image that you, just, that you added. You can say add a dog, and the AI will add a dog, not just adding a dog. It will add a dog keeping into account this, the whole context of the article as a whole. So in this case, we'll add a dog to a garden. Boom, there you go. Now you can change things around. You can say, maybe mm, you think this will be better off, maybe a bit longer, a bit shorter. You could make a list out of it. Maybe you think your users would take in this information a bit better in a list form table. You can add custom prompts like write this tailored to beginner gardeners using uh, non-complex gardening terms. I don't know, you, you, you can add any custom prompt you want. You can do this to the whole article if you'd like, okay? And on top of that, you have the AI agent that automates basically all your technical SEO for you. You can have an auto blog running on autopilot that automatically publishes content. So you can have, you can connect journalists AI with your website right here. And every single day it's generating, plus it's publishing all these blog posts to your site on autopilot based on prior keyword research. Cause this also does keyword research based on prior keyword research research it did, so generation based off of the keyword research, then you can syndicate this to social media, so all these posts are being syndicated to your LinkedIn, to your Twitter, which is now called X, to your Facebook, which then, by the way, the AI takes in this info, right? AI, if, for example, Grok, because all these, let me just do a quick parenthesis here, all these AIs, Grok, Perplexity, GPT, all of them are biased. Not in the information, but where they grab the information from. You'll notice that if you use Twitter's uh, AI, Grok, they value so much more info on Twitter posts than on Google. Uh, ChatGPT values a lot more info that's pre present on Bing, and there's a much higher correlation between your rankings on Bing and the results on GPT, right? Because of course, Microsoft owns Bing, which own Microsoft, which owns owns as well um, GPT. So they're biased in terms of where they grab the info from, right? So. This, by the way, again, this is powerful because, for example, if you're using Grok, people are using Grok to search well. If you have your, if you syndicate your blog post, the one this AI is publishing to Twitter, right? Well, now Grok will take in info from that, and you're much more likely to be recommended or cited when someone searches for your queries on Grok. Hopefully, that makes sense. And also, it automatically indexes your posts, so automatic indexing. And there's a bunch more stuff, right? It automates all your SEO for you in, in some extent. Okay. There's lead magnets, which is insane. I won't cover this right now, but this is super cool. Uh, I'll leave a link down below. Please go watch it because it's one of my favorite features right here in the, in the tool. It's insane. Um, but yeah, going back to this again, you get a full year's access to that software plus all of my SEO training. If you go again to tryjoins.com forward slash academy, I can scroll past all these testimonials of people that actually implement the stuff on there and use the software. There, there's, I mean, there's infinite testimonials right here. Infinite, for example, Keegan of, of, of his personal brand, eight figure tech companies using this strategy. Oh, there's, a, there's a bunch of results right here. And you get access to the community, to weekly live coaching calls, a one on one coaching call with myself, SEO QAs, seven SEO courses, which you can skim through all these super valuable YouTube SEO course, link building course, which is, teaches you how to build the backlinks that I just showed you before, uh, which I sell for around $300 each. The recurrent SEO course plus the plugin. There's, there's a bunch of stuff right here and a bunch of case studies where I reveal the sites and go over what these guys did so you can try to apply it to your site. I know he's speaking very fast, but hopefully this all makes sense. You can read through all, through all the stuff you get right here. Again, you get a full year's access. You get 100% money back guarantee as well, by the way. We don't keep your money if you don't want. So access to all this for a year. Oh, this is lifetime access, by the way. You get lifetime access to all these courses and the coaching and the training, all that. You get the one year's access to this offer right here, included in the membership. So yeah, that's it. Go out there and crush it. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and please comment down below what other videos you'd like me to record. Check the links. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.